Servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again. Germany is turning more and more into a great prison. And no, I'm not referring to the news articles that are discussed now on larger Anglo-Saxon channels that Germany plans to put opposition members or people who do not quarantine themselves into camps. That is actually very old news. These facilities and these plans were already there last spring. So it's not just yesterday's news. It is actually the news of last year's spring. And I reported on this already and I called out the German authorities because of that back then already. No, what I mean is the everyday life of the normal German citizen these days. It is more and more restricted and of course today in one of these discussions between the governors of the states and the federal government represented by Angela Merkel of course. It was decided that the lockdown that we have in Germany is not only becoming more restrictive and tighter. No, it is also going to be prolonged until the middle of February at least. But of course, we all know that it won't end there either. So in today's video, I want to go over the changes and what was being discussed there. But before I go into that, I want to thank my supporters and my subscribers once again. Like, share and subscribe, not only here on YouTube, but also on other alt tech platforms where I am present as well. Links are down in the descriptions below. And if you want to support my channel, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon or Subscribestar. All right, so as always, there was a suggestion, a basis, a proposal for the changes in the regulations that will be decided on. Ultimately, the different states are responsible for the implementation of these rules. For us here in Bavaria, not much will change because Mr. Söder has, of course, already the most severe restrictions in Bavaria. Or I should rephrase that he has decided those restrictions for the people living in Bavaria. Starting this week on Monday, for example, it is not enough anymore to just wear any mask like these everyday fabric masks or something like that when you go to the supermarket or if you ride a bus, for example. No, from now on, you need to wear these FFP2 masks that are, well, I should say they are more expensive. That's the first thing. And they also, they give more resistance to your inhaling. So for some people, it might actually be rather hard to breathe under such a mask. And technically, this is what I have heard, you need a medical exam in order to make sure that you are able to wear such a mask for a prolonged time. And I think after three hours you have to change it anyway. And the other interesting thing is that uh, technically you cannot wear this mask when you have a beard. Well, of course you can wear the mask, but then it doesn't really work anymore. The filtering capability of the mask is of course reduced to almost zero when you have a full beard. That means all those hipsters and um, let's say other people who wear beards, they would have to shave those beards if they want to properly enter a supermarket wearing one of these FFP2 masks. Now for the rest of Germany it seems like um, these FFP2 masks or as an alternative to that surgical masks will also do but these fabric everyday mask kind of things or a scarf or something that will not be acceptable any longer anymore. Then public transport. They are saying now that um, trains and buses cannot run on full capacity anymore. But just like in planes right now, um, there must be empty rows, empty seats in between. So they say only a third of the actual maximum capacity is still allowed. And that means that people either must stay at home or they just need more buses and more trains or the frequency of buses and trains must be increased substantially. 
They also decided that companies are now, well, not forced, but they should offer their employees to work from home if that is possible. So if you have an office job and if you work in front of a computer anyway and it's just meetings, then they should send you home and they should make sure that you can work from home. A lot of companies are doing that already, but not all of them are doing that. Once again, and this goes for a lot of these measures, how would you enforce that? How do you check that? Is that just an appeal to people's cooperation or to people's quote-unquote reason? Or will they actually send someone there and check if everybody who just works at a computer is actually at home? And all the people that are still working at the company have some let's say some manual labor kind of job to do um, like uh, working in a factory operating a machine or baking bread or whatever right when it comes to daycare and schools the federal government uh, really wants them to be categorically closed down until the middle of february whereas some of the state's governors actually think that if the incidence that means the well average number of infected people per 100,000 inhabitants when this number so the infection rate basically when it falls below a certain threshold then they should gradually open up the schools so that is yet undecided as I understood it and in the next days I think the different states will let us know what their plans are. The restriction on private meetings remain as severe as they are right now. That means you're only allowed to meet one member of a different household than your own at a time. So you're not allowed to receive or to host two guests at a time. Only one person that does not live in your household is allowed. That is pretty severe. And then if this incidence is or the seven day incidence as they call it, when it is over a value of 50, which is a very low threshold, then uh, everybody should only be allowed to move away from their place of residence by 15 kilometers. Once again, if there is a seven day incidence of over 50 in your district, then you have to remain within a 15 kilometer radius from your place of residence. And that is absolutely crazy in my opinion. Even if you are healthy and you just want to hike somewhere in the forest or in the mountains, you know, climb a hill that is 20 kilometers away, so what? If you're alone and you take your own private car, your vehicle, you go there, you park your car, you go hiking and you go back and you don't meet anybody there because it is a rural area let's say then you're not posing any risk to anybody you will not be able to either catch a disease or infect somebody you are just hiking alone in the woods what's problematic about that that's absolutely crazy all right so these were the most important changes that will be introduced to germany very soon or that the governors and the federal government decided on and all this at a time when the numbers are already going down and when this notorious R value so how many people an infected person in turn then infects on average is already under the value of one all that apparently doesn't matter anymore they still do the same thing that they already did last spring. They keep on moving the goalposts and they jump from one metric to the next just as it fits their plans, their designs and their schemes. Let me know what you think about all that and once again please subscribe and especially check out my channel on all tag platforms. Links are in the description down below. Servus Kameraden!